finally had the opportunity to play around seriously with my polymic. Um, went through the process of copying, a, of dumping a bunch of ROMs to the game system in terms of disc-based games, PlayStation um, titles mainly, and also a uh, bunch of cartridges. Uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, and Famicom with a pin adapter. Uh, so I used the um, Hyperkin uh, adapter. And I have some thoughts on this. I also put some gameplay footage clips in here as well, um, both to spice things, spice things up and to kind of give examples of what it looks like in play. Um, ROM dump process. Some consoles work better than others. Genesis generally worked okay. Had a couple games that didn't quite work, like Risk. For the sake of Genesis, weirdly, ran into some problems. Um, Super Nintendo worked okay. Famicom had some weirdness where the cartridge had to be facing backwards on the adapter in order to work. I never did properly detect it. Otherwise, it worked fine. Um, Famicom or NES games, that was the where things got tricky. I had to do a lot of scrubbing of cartridges in order to get it to read them. Some of them worked like right away, but a lot of them, a bunch of them involved a lot of wiping down of the cartridge contacts with alcohol wipes. Um, and related to that also, the NES death grip is definitely in effect here in terms of with how cartridge, it, how these, um, this is something I've noticed across the board with third party aftermarket um, or NES compatible consoles is they tend to have a death grip on the cart on the cartridge when doing vertical in uh, removal. I've had this problem with um, Hyperkin's Retron 5. I had it with the Retron 3 um, and I have it here with the with NES cartridges on the Polymega. I wonder if this is an issue that is intrinsically related to the, to the NES cart cartridge on its own in terms of the pin count or that sort of thing, because the Famicom has a lower pin count. I don't know. This feels like something that honestly maybe cartridge uh, like system manufacturers just need to start accounting like oh or doing something that's compatible with the very large library of nes games we need to account for the death grip we need to have like a release lever or something like that to just pop the games out much as there is a release lever on the super nintendo much as there's a release lever on the famicom we need something for any of these um NES retro clones. Other than that, games controlled like and looked pretty well playing. Um, patching is pretty straightforward. You just load the patches on a micro SD card, pop it in the back, and you're set. Uh, for disc based games, it like, theoretically you could have a patch, put it on there, and run the dumped um have it apply the, the patch to a dumped uh, official disc. But conferring with the Polymega community on their Discord, the general consensus is just burn a disc. The, the platform runs burned discs, and it handles them just fine, and it's probably the easiest way to do this. Also, which means that while the... I feel we were saying this, that while Polymega... The, the, the company who makes this has been very serious and somber and concerned about, hey, we need this. This needs to run official games. This is only for official game releases and that sort of thing. Your backup, your home, well, homebrew will work theoretically, but your burned backup discs or your or your dumped CDs, which you've then applied a patch to and then burned a disc, will work just fine. And theoretically, any other burned disc would probably work just fine. Wink, wink. Um, 
or like the the burned discs that you that when you went to the flea market you picked up a game didn't look inside and discovered oh this isn't an official legit copy this is a burned copy that will all those will also work as well yes i have encountered people at flea markets selling burned copies of playstation games at close to ebay prices surprise that's never showed up on um pat country's um flea market madness for scumbag sellers <laughs> but in any case um uh, that worked um like those worked i did uh a i have um Zeno Gears and um I did and I have uh also Lunar Silver Star Story and I did and I went and I put together or found the patched um undub for uh Zeno Gears mainly more because I wanted subtitles honestly more than anything else so I didn't have to put the volume up too loud and undub or and rebalance for lunar and those worked fine uh the, the, the those copied okay the system recognized them for what they were everything worked <clears throat> worked okay there um games which ran into problems um legend of kage ran into problems but that feels but and that sounds like that's a known issue situation Part of me wonders if this is an instance of if Legend of Kage is one of those games where if you open up the case, it's the Famicom cartridge plus with like an adapter in there. And so it's running into the adapter issue. Um, a couple other, again, there's uh, was a Battletech. Battletech for the Genesis was one that didn't work either, which is a bummer because that's a game which I was really looking forward to playing. And I, li I liked that sort of... Uh, sort of strike uh, as far as like the, the ea strike series inspired take on BattleTech, uh but that did not work so and there was it recognized and would it didn't recognize but it would play the reproduction i have of the uh legacy of Legion um collection wizardry collection this wizardry one two and three for the super nintendo that's a reproduction because that came for was released for a flash cart based system um super nintendo system in japan called the called the nintendo power of all things and so that limited actual physical release i'm going to play it is through flash cart is through an actual regular system is through a repro or having one of those original cartridges that has the game on it repro worked just fine um copy did just fine also my repro uh, my uh, official reproductions of um Elvien of um Elviento and uh soul feast also worked as well so like official reproductions of published cartridges detected them just fine recognized them as what they are copied over okay so dumped a bunch of those we'll have gameplay footage on here um the device itself does not support bluetooth i tried out the what the um uh 8-bit do bluetooth adapter with a the pro plus and for some reason it, it was my, my pro plus wasn't pairing with the adapter so i'm going to experiment on that more and maybe do a minor follow-up as like a short or something later to catch up on that but otherwise worked okay games controlled well save states works okay game saved worked okay so it looks like and again i haven't tried everything there's definitely going to be some gaps in the library where things will not quite work as planned um and i do not have the ultra 64 adapter so there's those hiccups there but what I played generally worked okay. Is this going to be a, re like, if you're using a, any sort of FPGA solution, like a mister, is this a really, this 
perfect solution um replacement for that no um like honestly the mister is probably as close as you can get to hardware perfect emulation for a lot of this stuff but it works but the poly mega works fine um i have not tried out their official not their official their, their bundled controllers yet the, the difficulty with those is because of how the modules work um you have to swap out modules to get to the for whatever system you're going to use which is a hassle definitely instance here for why the, the bluetooth or 2.4 d um 2.4 d 2.4 um gigahertz adapt uh controller would work nicely their official 2.4 gigahertz controller the buttons are okay there's some weirdness with play on the stick um not in the sense of terms of i wasn't experiencing a stick drift but i felt like i had to move things further than i wanted for some games for analog movement for example for playstation games to properly take effect so i don't know if this is a system-based emulation issue if this is a game specific emulation issue or what uh this is a situation where i am definitely going to get um think about getting like a later getting an 8-bit dough um 3.4 a 2.4 gigahertz controller with like hall effect sticks and just say okay removing all the variables so to speak how does this handle that um i want to try a few more playstation games as well in like i did like a light trialing with lunar um to see how well it works once i've tried the controller with these games in terms of controls and graphics and that's sort of thing. things anything i'm trying anything like really graphics intensive yet nothing like a um like a gran turismo or that sort of thing yet so that's going to be next up there on my list is try a gran turismo try a wwe smackdown wwf smackdown try um maybe a tomb raider or a Tenchu stealth assassins and see how those go particularly for like games where they are well known for their difficulty um but in ways where playing being able to play them with a um with save states might be a way where like okay now i can finally like play through this game and have save states to mitigate some of the issues from before that were causing me problems we'll see how this goes and i'll put some images put the footage i recorded the stuff i haven't already didn't already include i will just put that in here so you can see kind of what it looked like and what the interface looks like and i may even try for doing some future streams on the polymega as well we'll cross that bridge when we come to it catch you all later La 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 です。今日も遅刻ね。どうせまたダイン様の塚に行ってたんでしょう。それともナムスといたずらの相談かしら。
古の昔一つの惑星をめぐり二つの大いなる意志が戦った双方が繰り出す破壊的な力により惑星の地軸はねじ曲がり氷は蒸発し海底は隆起し大陸となったその大陸の中で最も大きな大地の上に二つの意志は降り立ちさらに数千年を戦い続けたやがて双方の意志は共に力尽きその大地の深くに沈んでいった後に暗黒の大陸と呼ばれるようになるバーン大陸はこうして誕生したのであるよくこの店を選んでくださいました何かご用ですかあ。
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Tossing me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.